Okay guys, I got some crepes and I bought the jacket. Okay, in terms of like keeping it in good quality, you might have to put it in a freezer. <laughs> I said, is this, is this my jacket that will be mixing with my stew? Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Closet, a space for perspectives where conversation meets style. If you're new here, hi, what's up? What's poppin', lockin', droppin', stoppin', rockin'? My name is Tumi. I make all sorts of videos from fashion, conversation, a lifestyle, and everything in between. So if you're new here, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. I upload once a week on Sundays. And also, if you followed me on social media, other, other, other social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Okay, so in today's video, you know, this is why London actually annoys me sometimes because I checked the weather and it said 15 degrees. Then I had changed and gotten ready and it said 13 degrees. And then I look up and I'm like, why does this place look like this? Honestly, the weather is giving me, I'm about to rain. And this is a suede jacket, so you, it, that better not happen. But I digress. So today's video, we are going to Notting Hill, Portobello Road to be specific. And if you've been here for a while, <laughs> you remember that I, I did this video twice this year when I was looking for a fur jacket. Well, I wasn't looking for a fur, fur jacket. I found a fur jacket. And then I was debating buying it. And then I did it. So guess what? Surprise, surprise. We are going to have this video for the third time. Remember, I made you guys a promise and we can talk about this as we are, you know, getting closer to Portobello Road. But I'm really excited for today's vlog. I feel like there are a few things I want us to achieve. One, spend some time, talk together, talk to each other rather. Number two, I also want to kind of do something educational in this video in the sense that we learn about like fur about how to store it the different types of furs why the heck am i even wanting to buy a fur jacket in the first place well because it's getting cold like the supposed 13 degrees that i was promised is not really feeling like 13. jeez i just felt water i just felt water guys i just i just felt water should i risk this or should i go back home Oh my God, I just felt a drop of water. <gasps> this is suede. This is not made for water. Chance of precipitation is 0%. Did I just feel water again? <gasps> you guys are watching my live reaction of me trying to debate what the heck I should do. Should I go back all the way home or should I risk it and like hope for the best? I'm low key feeling like I want to risk it because I can't be bothered to go all the way back home. Or if it starts raining, I'll get into an Uber. And then when I get to the shop, I will swap my jacket for my new coat. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I'm not going back home because no, that's just going to throw me off. So we're going to risk it. And worst case scenario, I have to hop into an Uber. But yeah, so come along and let's have some fun. isn't something I really enjoy doing. I love walking around like certain neighborhoods in London. One of them being Notting Hill actually and it's because I really love how beautiful it is. My only thing is I don't like how noisy Notting Hill is. Even though this is not really Notting Hill, this is West Bond Green or West Bond Park. I don't know, I, I, I always forget it. It's the one, it's not, we're not in the heart of Notting Hill per se. But anywho, I digress. And the reason is because I just feel like it inspires me. <laughs> It really inspires me. And you guys know that Jesus is like my bestie for life. And I remember one of the scriptures that God gave Abraham was as far as your eyes can see. So even like when you're desiring like a house or you want like a school or you want something, I like to go and look at it. Let me look at it. Let me try it. Let me feel it. Let me get a sense of what it is that I'm praying for. And I like make a habit of walking around neighborhoods that I admire. But... Yeah, I love, I love doing that. It just keeps me inspired, it keeps me fresh and keeps me excited. I don't want to chat too much. We are almost at our destination and oh gosh, I didn't have breakfast. I'm so hungry. Oh wow, I've never seen this place before. Vault Vintage Shop. Okay, for someone who comes, sorry. 
for someone who comes to Notting Hill quite a bit, I have never seen that vintage store in my entire life. Hold on a second, I'm trying to cross. Okay, I was saying to you guys, I, oh, this is too noisy, please hold on. I wish I had taken like a case in point to speak to you guys about why <laughs> Notting Hill is so noisy. So finally, I'm in the heart of it, which is really great. But I was showing you guys that vintage store. It was called Vault Finds. That was not the plan. You know, when I was speaking to you guys the other day about restraint, well, but this is also part of my job and like the fun of this channel, right? And it goes really well with the theme of today, which is a vintage store to find something luxurious, blah, 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 blah. So I found this random shop. It's called Vault Find. And from the mirror, I could see a vintage Dior bag. I could see a vintage Chanel bowling bag. I could see Dolce & Gabbana, like separates i could see like gold vintage jewelry like in a glass case i could see like bags so i was like ah please please, 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 please. who is the owner of this shop so obviously i wanted to have a look but then it seems like the person wasn't there or they weren't answering it didn't look like the it looked like the shop was open but that somebody wasn't in so i feel like on our way back even though that is not on our way back because i want to go to selfridges after we can pop by and see if see if they're open and have a look Mink special. It's a whole animal. I also don't know why mink has been forever so popular. How come? Maybe it's because it, it's really hardy. It's hard wearing. Fair enough. And it's it's. I mean, you can see the quality in that. It's hard wearing, and it, it just looks so expensive. Do you know what I mean? Is that now? I do have some new ones. It's just just to give you. That's just come in. This one's just This is incredible. But which one is which one is just come in? That's better. Really? I think so because the sleeves, I love the sleeves on this and the shoulders. The length the size is perfect for you. I love this This jacket literally is so insane. Yeah, this is definitely the one. The colour is perfect as well. The length on you is Exactly it should be. It should be, yeah. There's another mirror here. Oh, it's also oh, like really gorgeous. It's a little cheaper as well. Really? Yeah. See, that's got shoulders as well. It's a good length. And it's got. It's got oh, I thought it had puffier sleeves. It's, it's in between, it's isn't in it? It's in between, yeah. In between the two. It's not a thin sleeve, it's not a puffy one. And is this mink too? Yes, all of these are mink. Yeah. And it definitely, I remember something Mel was telling me yeah, is that it uh, one, I think it traps well. heat really well. All of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Try this one. Okay. This is great for content as well. Yeah. Love. Okay, right, so we have Fox. That is so loud. Oh, wow. It's really a fur jacket. <laughs> I don't like that on you. Yeah. <laughs> She's... <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, it looks like so. This is Fox. I don't really like Fox, guys, and I'm gonna explain in a second. I might not be able to do all the stuff I wanted us to do, but this is Fox. I think this is 899. I would say all the prices. So 899. The first one I tried on was 899. The second one was probably eight or seven. Let me check. Oh wow, the second one, which was the light brown, was 599. <laughs> Definitely warm, but. It's giving Corella the bill. Wow. I'm really ready for the cold. I'm ready for the cold. I like this. This one's really different. They're 499. And do you, do you put it on your head? You do. 
And it, is this supposed Where to cover your... <laughs> what are you going to wear on your bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I was like, where else do you think it goes to me? Fair enough. Just wondering. <laughs> Fair enough. And this is Fox too? Yeah. Whoa. This is really a fur jacket. <laughs> like, really a fur jacket. Okay, I think this is definitely not the style that we're opting for. This is very drama. Isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine though, in a long, beautiful evening dress? Yeah. That thrown over. Fair enough. I see the vision, but it's, maybe that's my first one. Maybe we definitely stick to the brown, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Oh, I'm just giving you ideas. <laughs> Well, maybe a white one then, yeah. if you want that kind of stuff. This is still giving fur. This is definitely giving fur jackets. It's giving, I'm wearing fur. Oh yeah, duh. Okay, guys. You know, I always like say, oh, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this. And then I forget that sometimes that store is just so busy. And that was exactly what was going on. Like, it wasn't so busy, but there was like, two other people which made it a little bit impossible to kind of like chat and the so the owner was the one you could hear in the background at different times speaking to me because spoiler alert i actually came here last week i came to have a browse and then i was like filming for like tiktok and as i came and we're trying on different things i tried on like a bunch of different jackets and i think a lot of them may have sold now and then i tried on the one that i tried on first which was the chocolate brown jacket and immediately i tried it on i was like forget this is what i want <laughs> because it's just so interesting like i don't know like i'll tell you like the punchline of why that jacket is so beautiful and why it's so special to me i've spoken about it on this channel before that i'm in this place where if it's five pounds it's 50 pounds 500 pounds or five thousand i must love what it is that i'm wearing like i don't want to just buy anything because it's cheap i want to enjoy what it is that i'm buying and yeah like that's my current mentality so anywho i saw the jackets and i couldn't sleep that night i just kept thinking about it <laughs> like in typical to me fashion i kept thinking about it i ended up texting the owner at like 11 being like don't sell that jacket and she didn't so now i'm off to withdraw cash and pay another thing i was gonna do the whole like you know quality blah 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 okay well we couldn't really do as in-depth as i would have liked because she was busy and then the other lady that is so like cute she wasn't in the store i think she comes on saturdays but i remember last time she told me number one with like fur mink is usually regarded as like one of like the top of the tops she said in her opinion she sees fox as more like trendy and if you think about the kind of person that i am if you've been watching this channel you know that i'm somebody that is definitely a person that leans more towards you know more classic styled pieces like i don't love owning a lot of like trendy pieces now because this jacket is in no shape or form cheap i definitely i'm not trying to get like a trendy piece i want something that is long wearing very durable keeps me super warm and honestly i could pass it down to my daughter because you always see people with these kind of collections where they have like all these beautiful vintage coats or vintage jackets and then their daughter is like oh, where'd you get it from and it's like oh it's from my mom or from my grandma's closet that's like my flex <laughs> that i want to be able to do so for me i like the fact that mink apparently is like very very durable the sheen is also so beautiful i feel like it has a sheen that you wouldn't see in fox in terms of like keeping it in good quality that i need to actually do research on but i re i remember like the lady who i saw when i came to the store earlier on in the year speaking about how you might have to put it in a freezer <laughs> i said is this is this my jacket that will be mixing with my stew <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> I definitely don't have Sub-Zero and Wolf in my house, so <laughs> which kind of freezer is this woman talking about? But I think she was basically saying to keep like moths away and keep the mink looking good. It's good to roll it up and put it in the freezer. I need to double check that with her and just like ask her about like, oh, how do I like take care of it? But yeah, it's just so beautiful. I actually have a fur jacket and I've spoken about this before. It ripped and it ripped because it was too small. So you pay pretty much like a premium for buying 
an oversized fur jacket because that's the whole like who wants to be wearing a jacket that is you know you shrunk like this you cannot even flex you like you pay more if you want it to be oversized and like kind of like envelope you and all that kind of stuff yeah you, you're gonna pay more money so mine ripped I didn't know that when you rip it you can't take it to a tailor so I took it to a tailor as opposed to a furrier and guess what they ruined the jacket like ruined like jacket is ruined I'm gonna have to like pawn it off for like a hundred pounds or something or even like 80 pounds if I'm lucky so I think that's all the chit chat I have for you guys but let's just buy the jacket and then I can tell you the punchline of this whole like story and maybe when I'm home we can try it on together and I will show you some outfit ideas I have already. I think Mel was talking to me about it, mm -hmm. that I need to be very careful with the moths. Yes. I think That's she said put it in a... For. Oh, she said freezer. Yes, you can put it in the freezer, fold it up in an airtight bag in the freezer for the summer, definitely. For the summer, okay. Yeah, you'll want to wear it in winter. Gosh. This is vintage Dior. This looks so good. I probably should take off my own jacket first. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Do you know what type of fur this is? Moton fur. Moton fur. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. This is so beautiful. Okay guys, I got some crepes and I bought the jacket. Okay, so I wanna go eat my crepe in peace now. I was supposed to go to Selfridges after this, but because I'm carrying something that's quite heavy and I feel like I'm like emotionally spent for the day. I'm like, please, I just want to go back into bed and go watch show. Uh, I said, go, <laughs> I'm gonna watch Shogun. By the way, if you're looking for something new to watch, that is a show that is worth watching. I feel like my mic might be clipping a bit. But yeah, that, that show, incredible. Like, I love it so much. And I'm halfway through season one. Okay, so I was gonna tell you guys the punchline of this entire story. So if you've followed me on this channel for at least the last six months, or maybe a little bit longer than that, because I think this happened in like January-ish, I came to this same store and there was this fur jacket that I debated for a long time. And I remember at that time it was like 800, it was the same price, 899. And I sat on it for so long and I ended up not buying it. At that point in time, I was like, no, I'm not spending 899 and i loved the jacket so much i thought it was so beautiful the only thing was that it was black and that was like the only drawback so the the jacket was black mink fur and had bouffant sleeves so like the billowy sleeves effect which is like when it's like a lot more dramatic it also had like the shoulder pads and all that kind of stuff I remember seeing the jacket and I thought, this is breathtaking. Like I've never seen like a fur jacket like this. It's not like the typical, you know, basic, basic one. This one is a little bit more drama, a little bit more extravagant. The only thing that I wish it was, was dark brown. And I remember like not buying the black one. And look here, I was actually a bit sad about it. And I speak about my faith a lot, but, and one of the things that God actually uses to train me is luxury. Whenever I say this, people are like, be so for real, girl, come on. How can God be using, you know, expensive things to train someone? It will shock you. So remember that I told you I didn't buy the jacket in January. I remember walking in Notting Hill and seeing something along the lines of, you know what, I yield, I'm not gonna buy it. Like, I'll let it go. And I just let it go. Like, I was actually sad. I wanted to, like, I loved the jacket. I loved it. And I didn't buy it because there was all sorts of stuff going on at that time. So when randomly last week, it was like the most random thing ever, I was, my crepes are getting cold. <laughs> Let me see if I can walk and talk and eat. So randomly last week, it was a Sunday. Ooh, look at how nice these crepes are. Even though these are like the worst done crepes I've ever seen in my life. These are the worst crepes I have ever had in my life, actually. This is so bad. But I think I'm gonna throw it away. These are the worst crops. I remember as she was making it and I saw it break, I was like, yeah, this is this is gonna be horrible. And yeah, it's, it's absolutely horrible. These are not crepes, these are pancakes that are not done well and lack flavor. Like what on earth? Oh my god, no. Do you know something I hate? I hate wasting money. So whilst I look for it, Ben, I'm going to tell you guys the story. So I remember thinking. Okay, I'm not gonna buy a papa as an Abba God. I'm gonna let it go. 
and I let it go like I was like okay I'm cool with this like no problem it's okay like something better will come through remember what I said last week Sunday I was supposed to be going to church and then I said I'll watch church online later on but I got this like I woke up in the morning and I had this like I don't want to call it a sense to make it sound but now in retrospect it obviously was a sense I was like okay let me go to Notting Hill to film content for YouTube no for TikTok it was for TikTok and I called my friend Ops and I was like hey like let's go to Notting Hill we're going to go to the first shop and we'll like just like get content and have a browse for what they have in store and then we ended up going to Notting Hill that was when I then tried on various jackets and then I tried on the one that I, that I ended up buying. So I remember trying on different ones. I saw a runner up that I loved, but it, that I liked, but I didn't love. It didn't make me feel a certain way. And when I say feel a certain way, my eyes didn't light up when I wore it. Like I was like, oh, this is nice, but it wasn't what I wanted. Then when she brought out this jacket, which is the owner, she brought it out and I saw that it was chocolate brown, shoulder pads, bouffant sleeves and that rich like it had it even had high collars and it hit and it looks like it had like the, the length was perfect i looked at it and i was like wait a second then i wore the jacket and my mouth jaw dropped it was literally the almost exactly the same jacket that i tried on in january except better the one in January was black and that was something that I didn't love about it. This one, it was chocolate brown and it was exactly what I wanted. Ex like down to the T. She now tells me that she's actually been traveling for a while and she only just recently got back and started unloading the stock. And even from her unloading the stock like Friday and Saturday because they only open from Thursday to Sunday. Friday and Saturday, like they've cleared the rails. And the one I was trying on was hidden at the back. So obviously I was like, so I went home, I thought about it, and I just said, you know what? I let the black one go. This one, I'm pulling the trigger, I'm buying it, and ta-da! That's how I ended up bringing home my baby. I hope you guys, remember I made you guys a deal. I told you we will not do this video unless I end up buying something and buying the jacket. This is the second time I'm going to that shop. The third time, I'm just have to give you guys an unboxing. Third time, because charm. third time is the charm. Because I don't want to become a distance in the shop every time going. <laughs> so thankfully, I'm so happy. Like, I'm really, really happy. Like, it's crazy expensive. But it's one of those things where, like, this is actually a vintage piece. It's one of those things where you can't find it everywhere. I'm going to wear it so much. Like, I feel like I keep having these thoughts of, like, when I'm going to, like, New York. If I'm going like vintage shopping in New York, I wear this jacket. I've come up with all sorts of outfits, <laughs> all sorts of outfits, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much. It's so crazy. I think this was where I made the decision. This place. So we're on Ledbury Road in Notting Hill. Um, I think this was where I made the decision actually, where I was saying to the spirit of God, I was like, okay, God, I yield. Like, I won't buy it. I'll let it go. And then he brought it back. So this is my way of saying that they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. You shall mount up on wings like eagles. And so you shall walk and not get weary. You shall run and not faint. And also tying it back, when you wait and things seem like they've passed you, or it feels like opportunities have passed you, or it feels like, you know, everybody is moving and I'm being left behind. It is not true. If God sees that you really want something, he will find a way to add it back and even better in your life. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's watching this me like, not her spending a whole load of money and managing to find a way to bring Jesus into this. 1000%, I feel like this channel is like luxury and ministry. <laughs> no, why am I laughing? That's actually the truth. Yeah, for real. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, I'll catch you soon. Bye.